In this video, we are going to walk through how to assign an article in Newzella using Google Classroom. First, we'll need to sign in using Google. So we'll click on the Google button and uh, sign in choosing our account. So you'll need to choose an article to assign for your students. You can scroll through and find one or you can use the search feature. So you can search by a topic, whatever you are looking for that relates to your curriculum or what you're focusing on in class. So you can type that in and scroll through and find content. You can also filter the content um, by type or um, you can scroll down and uh, click on the article option and you can really dial it in by reading level or maturity level for your student, your grade level. You can find um, articles that have power word activity um, built in, and then the reading skills can be really helpful if you are trying to um, uh, really hit on one of those reading skills um, for your students. You can find articles that have um, those reading skills highlighted. So that is in the filter by um, section in the search. So you can go through and look at um, the um, options here and see if it has power words or if it has a Spanish option in the uh, search. You can see text sets and infographics here, articles. So we can scroll through our search results and find different types of content in Newzella that we can assign. You can also go back to the main homepage and scroll through and browse content that also might fit our um, class. So we'll choose this um, spotlighted latest news we want to build in some SEL content. So we're going to assign this um, article. We can see right here underneath the article heading, um, there's some important information, grade level, and where the article comes from. In the top right, you can preview the article at different reading levels for your students. So you can change that um, in that drop down menu. You can also open the activities shelf and see um, how many quizzes or writing prompts, depending on the content in the article. There might be different subject specific uh, quizzes or writing prompts. So you can preview those questions. You can preview the writing prompt. You can also edit it. So it is specific for your class and your students by clicking on that edit button. And then when you're ready to assign, you can click on the blue assign button in the upper right. That will open up the assignment window. You can uh, change or edit that assignment title. And then the level um, option in the upper right, if you choose no level locking, that means um, Newzella will open the article at the best fit for the student based on their quiz scores. Um, so that will um, open at the student's um, reading level based on um, other articles they've read in Newzella and their quiz scores. That means students can also change the reading level based on their comfort um, or if they want to challenge themselves. We'll add our class here. You can also set the reading level um, for your students if you would like to do that in the upper right corner. Now we're going to add student instructions here. There's some rich text formatting options. You can have a bullet list or a numbered list. You can bold uh, text or italicize it. You can also use an emoji keyboard like we're doing here to really help build in some visuals um, to structure your uh, instructions for your students. So we're going to use that um, to help structure these instructions for our students. So we'll add in um, some uh, before reading uh, brainstorming questions for our students to kind of hook them and get them thinking about the content ahead of time. So we'll have that as their first direction um, to think about before their reading. And then uh, during reading, uh, having the active participation. So we'll have specific directions for how they're going to use the highlighting and annotation tools that are built in to Newzella. So we'll um, include those step-by-step -step instructions here, exactly what we want for the different colors. So you can um, include those and that's nice. Once you have those in, you'll want to build a routine for your instructions. So you can copy and paste this part of your instructions for future um, Newzella assignments. 
because you will want to build a routine for using those annotation tools for that active participation. So the students always know that green means highlighting new vocabulary, yellow means highlighting three things that surprise them, however you would like to structure um, your annotation. Then um, we included a direction for what to do after they finish reading, taking the quiz, and marking the assignment as done. So now that it, the instructions are finished, we click the assign button, and now it is assigned and active in Newzella. However, we do need to post it to Google Classroom, so we're going to click the little share button, the share arrow, and choose Google Classroom. This will bring up a Google Classroom window where we can choose the class that we'd like to post this to. That's the class that we chose and that is synced with Newzella. We'll create an assignment and it will pull up the assignment window with the link directly to that assignment embedded. I've added a couple directions specific for students that they're going to click on that link, log in with Google if needed, and then come back and mark it as done in Google Classroom. So now that is an active assignment, students will go to Google Classroom to get access, click on that link, and open it automatically in Newzella to complete. Then as a teacher, you'll be able to um, monitor student progress here in Newzella. You can check out our monitoring student progress video tutorial um, if you'd like more information on that. And that is how you assign an article assignment in Newzella through Google Classroom.